വെൽക്കം ടു നഴ്സിംഗ്ര അക്കാദമി ഓൺലൈൻ ക്രാഷ് കോഴ്സ് ഫോർ നഴ്സസ് മെഡിക്കൽ സർജിക്കൽ നഴ്സിംഗ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് റിഗാർഡിംഗ് മസ്കുലോ സ്കൾട്ടൽ സിസ്റ്റം ഡിസോർഡേഴ്സ് ഫസ്റ്റ് പാർട്ട് അനാറ്റമി ആൻഡ് ഫിസിയോളജി ഓഫ് മസ്കുലോ സ്കൾട്ടൽ സിസ്റ്റം ഡു യു നോ ഹൗ മെനി ടോട്ടൽ ബോൺസ് ആർ ദർ ഇൻ അവർ ബോഡി ഇറ്റ്സ് ടു നോട്ട് സിക്സ് ബോൺസ് and how much muscles are there in a human body that is 700 muscles that makes up the human body what are the functions of musculoskeletal system musculoskeletal system it will be protecting and support the internal structures or the organs of the body it will help for movement and it is giving the shape for the body produce the blood cells especially from the bones store calcium and phosphorus produce heat these are the functions of musculoskeletal system first we will learn regarding skeletal system skeletal system means what it comprised of uh, bones and joints at birth the bones are becoming so soft and when the child is growing up the bone will become hard and fully developed also the bone made up of uh, phosphorus calcium sodium then uh, collagen and other minerals and uh, we know that when we are studying the structure of the bone uh we are learning that bone is covered with a living membrane called a periosteum in that periosteum um it contains the forming cells bone forming cells that is osteoblast then we have uh, osteocytes and uh, mature bone cells are there there are mainly four types of bone according to their shape it is classified into four types first one is flat bone flat bone example we can say that uh, ribs it's a flat and irregular bones example vertebra that is irregular bone short bone example carpals that is short bone long bone type example humerus femur and all that is long bone type now we can see how uh, the bone healing when especially when there is a fracture injury and or happening how the healing process of the bones there are mainly three stages are there for the bone healing first is early inflammatory stage second is repair stage and third is late remodeling stage in the early inflammatory stage what is happening means a hematoma develop within the fracture site once a bone get fractured there will be hematoma formation will be there you can see in the picture the hematoma formation the blood is clotting this area and the inflammatory cells examples macrophages monocytes lymphocytes and fibroblast these all cells will come and it will infiltrate in the uh, bone during a fracture so with all these um, cells and all there will be forming of the granulation tissue will be forming that will result in ingrowth of vascular tissue and uh, migration of uh, mesenchymal cells and all happening here next stage is repair stage repair stage there will be formation of a callus formation of course at the fracture site and uh, bone union begins so you can see here internal callus fibrous tissue and cartilages a callus formation will be there 
This is external callus and this is internal callus will be forming here. Then next stage is late remodeling stage. Fracture healing is completed during the remodeling stage in which the healing bone is restored to its original shape, structure and the mechanical strength. So first hematoma formation will be there, all inflammatory cells, everything is accumulating there, then granulation tissue forming and the fibrocartilaginous callus formation will be there. Then again it is forming into bony callus formation. Finally the bone will be remodeling will be of course and it will come to the previous state. That is the uh, healing repair of fractures four steps for the healing. If you wish to know more details about this book feel free to contact me in whatsapp. Whatsapp link I mentioned in description box. Now we can see regarding joints, type of joints, there are um, like um, we have immovable joints and their name is fibrous or immovable joint, we are calling it as sin arthrosis. Sin arthrosis example we can say that skull, that is immovable joint and ambi arthrosis that means Cartilaginous or a slightly movable joint. Slightly movable joint means a vertebra. Slight movement will be there. Then diarthrosis. That means the synovial joint and ball and socket joints and all. That is shoulder example for that. Then condyloid. That means the freely movable joints. Allow the frictionless, painless movements and all, wrist and all, we can freely move it, okay. That is condyloid joint. These are the types of joint. Then we have in the synovial uh, joints, like fiber joint, ball and socket joint, then uh, condyloid, then saddle, uh, hinge, gliding, all these uh, synovial joints types are there. If you didn't subscribe Nursing Mandra YouTube channel until now, please subscribe now and enable the bell icon to get the updated notifications. Now we can see the synovial fluid. In the synovial junction, um, like a joint, there will, there will be fluid will be there. What are the functions of the synovial fluid means? Uh, fluid found in the joint capsule. This is a joint capsule. Inside this joint capsule, there is synovial fluid. It will be lubricating the cartilage and provide a cushion effect against the shocks. That is the function of the synovial joint. As you know that when there is infection in the synovial joint, we are calling it as synovitis. Yes, we can see uh, the movements of the body. First movement is abduction. So you can see this is abduction that is movement away from the body. Okay, so in this picture abduction from movement away from the body. Adduction means a movement towards the body. This is adduction and this is abduction. Then there is a flexion is the that means the bending of a limb towards the body that is flexion. Extension means a extending a limb away from the body then uh, rotation movement around a central point there will be a rotation okay like this inversion aversion dorsiflexion plantar flexion okay all these are the movement types now we can see regarding muscular system muscular system consists of muscles so uh, there will be muscle fibers in the muscles so more muscle fibers muscles will provide force to move the bone and helps in maintaining the posture muscles are attached to the bones within the with the help of the tendons types of muscles there are mainly three types of muscles are the skeletal muscle smooth muscle 
cardiac muscles. Skeletal muscle. Striated voluntary muscles. Skeletal muscles are striated. Stria is there. You can see the strias. And um, it is voluntary muscles attached to the bones. The next is smooth muscles. That is non striated involuntary muscle. It is involuntary. Control the action of our gut and blood vessels and all. There it is smooth muscles are there in the blood vessels and in our gut and all. Then we have cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles also involuntary muscle. These are found only in the heart. These are the types of muscles. How the movement is occurring? Movement occurs when muscles contract. Pulling the bone with them. Then muscle works in pairs. When one muscle contract, the corresponding muscles relaxes. Muscle contraction and relaxation require large amount of ATP, adenosine triphosphate is required. Contraction also requires a calcium which function as a catalyst. Acetylcholine released by end plate of motor neuron, neuron initiate an action potential all. Continuation of this video and more system wise crash course, feel free to contact Nursing Mandra. WhatsApp number plus 971-5025-157717. Please check the description for WhatsApp link. DHA, MOH, HAR, Saudi Prometric, Oman Prometric, Bahrain Prometric, Qatar Prometric, Anglic Saran, CBT exam. We are providing system based crash course videos. Respiratory system, cardiovascular system, EMD system, ophthalmic system, nervous system, gastrointestinal system, urinary system, reproductive system, musculoskeletal system, endocrine system, dermatology, child health nursing, maternal health nursing, community health nursing, mental health nursing, fundamentals of nursing includes calculations, nutrition, research and statistics. Online crash course anytime you can study with an internet connection. For reference, you can watch system based crash course videos in Nursing Madra YouTube channel. For full detailed crash course video with picture, feel free to contact me in my WhatsApp.